Well guys, it's time for a time trial. The idea with this time trial is to be able to predict my time for the April Fool's half marathon, April 2nd. So here you see me doing some drills. My hips and my glutes were pretty tight on this day. So I was trying to loosen them up a little bit. And I always do this before speed workouts and time trials and races as well. So the workout consisted of one mile warm up, the 5k time trial, and then another mile as cool down. So let's see how it went. And all this footage was taken with the Insta360 X3. Thanks Insta360 for your generous gift. I am thrilled to actually be filming with this camera. And the maiden voyage is going to be this Sunday at the New York City Half Marathon that I'm gonna be running. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. It's going to be epic. We're gonna do it. We're gonna start here in this junction and take it down. Yeah. I'm excited, guys. What are the odds? My son called me and then Lynn called me. So I have to check what I did, or I think I did 26 and change. Not my best, because I think my best is 25 something. So, yeah. So I've done like 35 seconds slower, I think, something like that. Yeah, or 40 seconds slower. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna finish the mile and I need to take a shower and take a shower and I have a very important goal at nine so do this mile get it done let's go and this was my 5k time trial hopefully I get to do 1 hour 57 during the April Fool's half marathon. That would put me right on track for my Boston qualifier attempt at wine glass marathon, which is October 1st. And I need to accomplish a 3 hour 55 or less. So I am rooting for myself. I am very motivated. This was a good time trial, even though I didn't beat my best. I did it on tired legs and I didn't taper for it and I really didn't train for specifically a 5k so very happy with how things are going I have to give credit to my coach Paul Davillo there's a link below to his channel run fearless you guys